We've got our hands on 7-inch Battle Roar Shimo based on Godzilla Kong the New Empire. Let's get her unboxed. Battle Roar Shimo brings a dangerous new foe to your collection with epic new details that capture her movie look. Set includes Shimo's Battle Roar sound effects. Let's attach her tail. Here's 7-inch Battle Roar Shimo out of the box. 7-inch Battle Roar Shimo looks badass, featuring a similar head sculpt to 6-inch Shimo, but there are more refined details on her head. She has those fierce forward-facing blue eyes and a snout. Her mouth has a different cut with a spring-loaded mouth and a nice set of teeth. Her head is adorned with a beautiful crest of transparent iridescent blue crystalline spikes. Oddly, her headpiece is off-white compared to the rest of her body. Notice her spikes at the back of her head are simply painted white and not translucent blue. Translucent blue spikes run down her back, but notice it's a bit skewed like giant Shimo. Spikes extend through her tail, ending with four blue crystal thagomizers. Here's a look at the underside of her tail. She's covered with dense reptilian scoots and scales that give her a striking white appearance. In fact, her skin details have been drastically improved compared to 6-inch Shimos, but they still don't match the impressive details of giant Shimo. We can see the action button has been texturized to somewhat blend in aesthetically. I especially love the textured details on her legs. Look at that. Now they've painted her nails a glossy black. Check that out. Even the underneath of her feet have some nice texturized detail. Her underbelly has some nice texturized detail, but it's got way too many screw holes. And those speaker holes. Yikes. Thankfully, when on all fours, it's not a deal breaker. To activate Shimo's mighty battle cry, simply press this button. Let's hear another one. Whoa, Nelly, that's one scary sounding beast. Arr, Shimo's chasing after me. Ah, time to run like hell. Whoa, that was a close call. Why does it sound like a pig being lit on fire? Now let's talk articulation. Battle Roar Shimo cannot rotate or move her head, it's just fixed in place. Sadly, since her jaw is spring-loaded, once you open it, it shuts automatically. Her legs have a limited range of motion. Interestingly, her feet no longer swivel 360 degrees. Instead, they now pivot up and down. With a ball joint, her tail features pretty good range of motion, and her tail can be fully rotated. Battle Roar Shimo has no problem resting on all fours. She can also stand on her hind legs. What the heck? Surprisingly, there's no frostbite blast accessory to be found anywhere. I wish Shimo included her frostbite blast. That's a huge missed opportunity. For comparison, here's 6-inch Shimo with frostbite blast, 7-inch Battle Roar Shimo, and 11-inch Giant Shimo.